If you were considering building a brand new website using Beaver Builder, then I'm here to tell you some good news which will save you time and money. Because we just released a bunch of new starter templates for Beaver Builder that you can instantly start using on your website. If you don't know who I am, I'm Yuvraj from Brainstorm Force and we are the team behind the famous WordPress theme Astra and we also make starter templates which are professional, beautiful, complete websites that you can import onto your website in just a few clicks and have a fully functional, beautiful looking website created for you without any technical or design skills. Now we have a lot of starter templates available for Beaver Builder. Many of them are free, but some require a paid subscription to Astra's Essential or Growth Bundles. I'll leave links down in the description so that you can check out everything that I've been talking about. Now, as I mentioned, we already have a bunch of starter templates available, but this video is in particular is about a bunch of new starter templates we just released for Beaver Builder. Three of them are related to influencer category. One is a hotel template and one is a tarot card reader template. So let's head to my computer and I'll give a quick demonstration on how these starter templates work, what is best about them and how you can start using them on your website. Let's get started. All right, guys. So this is one of the templates we'll be looking at. In total, there are five different templates in three different categories that we've just announced for Beaver Builder. So the first category is the influencer or blogger category. So this is the food blogger uh, template. This is the travel blogger template. And this is the fashion influencer or blogger template. And we'll also be looking at two other templates, which is the first is a homestay hotel. And second is the tarot card reader. Now, if you are familiar or if you think for some reason that these four templates look familiar, then you're not wrong because we just released them a couple of weeks ago on Elementor. And now we've also released them on Beaver Builder. So that's why these might look familiar because we also did a video just explaining these uh, templates uh, just a few weeks ago when we actually released those templates. So now since I have to cover five different templates and show off all the great features about all these templates, and also keep the video to a more reasonable length. What I'm gonna do is also leave links down in the description for each of these templates so you can check out for, or check them out for yourself. And also if you are interested, if you wanna go into deep dive uh, or you wanna listen to me talk about what's so great about these four templates, then I'll also link down uh, the uh, video to the Elementor templates or the same templates that we released for Elementor where I went into a little more, I would say, a lengthy discussion about what's so great, what's so, you know, the design choices and all the great stuff. So that will be linked down in the description as well. And that's one of the advantages of using starter templates, right? Uh, no matter what page builder you use, the website that you will import will look exactly the same, even if you're using Gutenberg, Beaver Builder or Elementor. But this time we are using, or these templates have been released for the Beaver Builder. So with that in mind, let's get started with the first template, which is the fashion influencer template. Now for all the three templates or all the three influencer templates, let me just give you a quick explanation of what the mindset is. Influencers um, have a very specific need in mind when they're creating websites. They want to impress brands that come to their sites so that they can show off their social following. And also they want to impress their audience by showing off or influencing them in a positive manner or with whatever content they produce. So the website has been, or all the templates have been designed in a way so that it impresses both the audience as well as brands. So it's a dual purpose, or I'd say the design language, the design choices that have been made show off both these things. So uh, the content or whatever content you produce definitely is going to be for brands as well as your audience, but uh, the design choices and what the elements have been placed on screen or whatever, however they have been designed is intended so that brands and audiences or your audiences, if you're an influencer, can take equal advantage of this. With that in mind, let's quickly run down the influencer or the first influencer template, which is the food critic influencer or blogger template. This is the template. And uh, what you'll notice in all the three templates for influencers is that they have a very similar a color scheme, right? Not a, not exact same colors, but a pastel brown theme, which you can see right here, right here, right here. But the templates themselves will look completely different. I'll just give you a quick demonstration when, I, when we go to the other templates. But let's quickly run down what's so great about this template. So you see a beautiful image right here. You see a nicely designed section right here, which just looks a very interesting approach. You have a beautiful logo on the left. And of course, uh, if you're using Beaver Builder, even the free version or whatever, is, or the content of the page, you can definitely customize with Beaver Builder and the header and footer can be customized with Astra's uh, header footer builder. And definitely if you want to, you can customize the colors and uh, the typography and the sections themselves using Beaver Builder as well. So that's completely up to you. This is just what our design team has come up with. If you have the skills or if you want to make any changes, you are free to do so. So let me continue where I left off. I was talking about how great the image looks, how beautifully designed this section looks. And you have the first and the most important section, the, uh, I say, the above the content on the homepage talks about who you are, which is the most important aspect of being an influencer. You want to talk about what you do, who you are, what have you done or what are the kinds of things you're interested in and what are the things you want to influence your audience with. So this is one great section that you can use. And 
Talking about the header, so you have a beautiful design logo right here which you can replace with your own and definitely if you want to, you can ma make this a center design logo as I just mentioned. You have beautiful typography or I say contrast of typography. You have a sans serif font here, you have kind of a serif font here. So interesting contrast between the font styles and also the font weights, giving the overall template a very beautiful look. You have different kinds of pages here your social media handles, which you can definitely um, customize or change to your own uh, links. And also a let's talk button designed for brands to get in touch with you. So call to action here, who you are right here, all the different elements of the page or what is important about your site right here on the above the fold section, which is the most important section of any website. So this is a beautiful section. And then as you just start scrolling down, you have the uh, section to highlight what your social media following is. Now this can be useful for brands as well as uh, your audience, because if uh, it's kind of a social proof, if a 1.2 million followers are um, subscribed or, or 1.2 people, 1.2 million people are subscribed to you on YouTube. That means you're doing something right. Talking about subscribers, why don't you subscribe to this channel as well if you are interested in any kind of WordPress related content or product updates from Brainstorm Force. That means Astra Theme, UABB, UAE, and a bunch of other products. So make sure you're subscribed. Coming down to here or this section, you have a, a place to highlight all the logos or all the brands technically what you worked with, which is again very important for brands as well as audience. For example, if you have really great brands that you worked with, that means your audience will be impressed. And of course, if you have already worked with some great brands, then other brands who are trying to approach to you or approach you for maybe a collaboration might also be impressed with the kind of work you've done. And talking about the latest review section, now you now the rest of the page is about your content, what kind of content you produce. Now, this since this is a food critic or food influencer template, this is where you can talk about kind of foods you like, what kind of foods you've eaten recently, where you are, and just show that content off. And again, uh, you have one more beautiful design section, and this one is more specific to restaurants. This one was for food. So you can show off the food or the kind of food you're interested in so that brands know what kind of food you want to eat so that they can invite you to their restaurants. And then you have the restaurants right here. So you can also maybe talk about what kind of restaurants you visit to and what are your favorite styles, dining styles, everything, the good stuff. And then you have a nice little section here where you can ask people to join your mailing list. Uh, that means you can grow your email list, which is pretty good, uh, or which I'd say is really important even for an influencer. Just don't depend on your uh, Instagram following or your YouTube uh, following. Uh, having and building an email list is always recommended. And now you have a section for videos. Now it's not even surprising, videos are taking off like a rocket. Heck, you're watching a video right now. So that means video content is something that you should be highlighting or you have a very dedicated section where you can highlight all the video content you've done. So this is the end of the page and you also have a great, beautiful looking call to action for brands to get in touch with you because again this is your livelihood probably if you are a food influencer you brands get in touch with you and then you collaborate on certain projects so again having this call to action is really important so this is the home page of the website and now i'll do a quick rundown on the different pages of your website so that uh, i'll just give you a quick idea about how the pages are or how the pages look so let's start with the about section or about page first let's that uh, let that page open up first so as you can see, the about page is all about you. No surprises there. You have a beautiful design page again with a beautiful looking image here. And I'd say uh, different uh, design here, a checkered design or say the uh, orientation of the image is being shifted from left to right, which looks beautiful. You have a place for a quote here. And the most important thing about the about me page is the information that you want to present in the about me page. So you have a beautiful looking header here about me and you have a paragraph here which you can talk about who you are, where you're from, what kind of work you do, maybe any kind of things you want to talk about and what kind of work do you do? Again, food influencer or food critic, influencer and blogger. And again, a beautiful place to show off your social media following once again. And again, you can talk about something that you are interested in or maybe some quote that you have. Whatever is your philosophy, you can uh, place that here. Again, you have a section for highlighting the brands that you worked with. Then you have one more section to just show off uh, videos. Now, this can be a personal video. This can be brands you worked with. This is completely up to you. This is a beautifully, I'll say, full page with design section just to highlight videos that you've done. And again, you have a beautiful call to action for your Instagram page because you want people to follow you on Instagram. And you have the link right here with uh, some of the images from your Instagram uh, being highlighted here. Again, beautiful section. Again, call to action for brands to get in touch with you. This is the second or the about page. Let's quickly go to the reviews page. And on the reviews page, no surprise there, there will be reviews or we'll talk about different kinds of reviews you've done. And you can review food, you can review restaurants. And on this page, you can see both kind of content. And again, a beautiful design page or section. You have a nice little he heading right here. You can talk about what kind of food you review or what kind of restaurants you usually prefer going to so that brands can understand. Maybe this is the kind of thing or this is the influencer I want to work with. And again, you again have a beautiful looking uh, section right here. 
And then you have a normal a kind of a blog feed where you can maybe embed uh, the kind of restaurants you go to or maybe the food or the kind of food you have reviewed in the past. And this is a great way to highlight how detailed or how in-depth do you go or how how great is your reviewing skills as a food influencer. Because if a brand is designed to work with you, they also want to know if you will be uh, or you have the necessary skills to evaluate the kind of food that they prepare or at least you're honest with the kind of food that you eat. So this is a great section to highlight all that as well. Again, you have a beautiful call to action to join a mailing list. Now this can be used for brands as well as audience. And again, a call to action for brands to, brands to get in touch with you. That was the reviews page. Let's also check out the videos page and no points for guessing what will be on the reviews or sorry, the videos page. It's a page to highlight your videos. And as I mentioned, videos are uh, taking over the world. I'd say uh, if I'm right, over 65% of bandwidth around the world is used for just for consuming videos. And as uh, time goes on, I say, uh, all different social media platforms will have video as the primary communication or a video as the primary piece of content that they will highlight. So if you're not already on video, you should definitely get on video. And this is a page already designed for you. If you decide to use this food blogger templates, you can all embed your videos or kind of videos you do on this page and highlight everything that you do. Now, this can be uh, you, you yourself eating food, maybe a, a B-roll of a restaurant preparing the food or any kind of uh, thing. Maybe you also vlog on the side. So any kind of content you want to embed right here, you can embed and you, again, you have a mailing list option and a call to action. And these are beautiful looking pages. The last page is the contact page. Let's also quickly run down the contacts page and see what's so great about that. And the contact page just looks so great to me. Uh, you have a beautiful looking uh, heading right here, a small paragraph to highlight something you want to, anything you want to highlight about uh, maybe the uh, uh, your availability or maybe the days you respond to or to your emails or in general, anything you want to talk about. Your address here, phone number, email, obviously this is optional. If you want to include this information, you can. If you don't want to, you, you cannot, or I'd say you have the option to remove this information and you have social media followings, which you can again highlight. And I'd say the form looks so beautifully designed with a nice little border right here. And here, uh, or your audience or brands can get in touch with you just filling on this information and you can connect this from the back end of your website and you can just check out all the messages you're getting. And again, you have a beautiful section to highlight what you want to talk about and also a call to action from brands to get in touch with you. So this is all about the food blogger, food influencer template. Let's quickly uh, travel to the travel blogger template and let's talk about what's so great about it. Now, from the first look or from just from the colors, you might think, oh, this looks very similar to this template, the food blogger template, but actually that's not the case because this template has a lot of that's a small details, but if I scroll down below, you'll feel, see that the template is actually completely different. So starting with the header, the header is completely different. The social media icons are on the left. You have a center designed, uh, I'd say the uh, menu. Again, this is completely customizable based on what kind of work you want to do. And the logo right here is a beautiful design, the center logo. Now, of course, if you decide to use this template, you'll customize this. And as I just mentioned, you can definitely customize everything about this template or the definite, definitely the position of the logos with the header and footer builder inside Astra theme. And you have a search box right here, which is a simple click to button. And you, once you click it, the search box opens. Great, great uh, little, um, I'd say animation, and this just looks beautiful. And coming to the, I'll uh, say, let us let me just scroll to the page and first, I'll just let you absorb or let you see what's great about the template. And then I'll talk about what's uh, different or uh, great about the template. So let me just keep scrolling. And probably you can already tell this template looks completely different from the first template. And it has a very distinct style and appeal. And just from looking at the images and the design, you can probably make out because it is a travel template. You can make out that it's a beautiful design a template for a travel vlogger. So what? Uh, let me just talk about some integrated details about what makes this template beautiful to me. You have an interesting looking handwritten kind of font. The typography options are great. You have a soft pastel color, which gives it a great appeal. Again, you can customize the colors uh, to your branding if you already have a branding in place. That's completely possible with the Beaver Builder. And you have an interesting uh, style of images right here. It's not uh, very symmetrical, but it gives it a more, I'd say, natural natural appeal. And you have images right here, images right here, images right here. Again, a nice little touch here with the map icon, uh, just with the same colors as the theme. It just looks beautiful. And again, you have a beautiful looking template or I'd say section on the image itself to talk about who you are. As I mentioned, the most important uh, page or most important points on a homepage is to talk about who you are and what kind of work you do, which is uh, very important to brands as well as your audience who you want to influence. So as you start, you have the uh, Im immediate call to action about what you do. You have images which just show that what kind of work you do. And again, you can talk about uh, what kind of work you do, what have you done, where you're from, how did you get into this lifestyle of travel blogging. And again, you have a link for 
the call to action or link to, I say, the About Me page, which I'll check out uh, or I'll show you, demonstrate a little bit later. Again, you have an option to highlight the brands you work with. Again, a beautiful looking section, I'd say. Beautifully designed, uh, I'd say, a grid layout, which is just looks amazing to me. And again, you have uh, the video section, again, with the handwritten font right here. And as I said, videos are really important, and especially for a travel blogger, uh, video is, I'd say, the bread and butter of the business. So if you're not producing videos, you should start producing videos, and you should have a YouTube channel, which you have the call to action to right here. And you should also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. I'm not going to give you a call to action, but I think... Uh, if you like the content, you should subscribe. So video section, beautifully highlight here. And then you can also highlight the places you want to visit. Because again, as a travel influencer, you want uh, to, or you want your audience to live your travels with you, but also to influence them to visit certain places that you also have visited in the past or you want to intend to visit in the future. So you have a section to highlight this. And the, for the demonstration, we have highlighted Europe, the Americas, Asia, and Africa. And definitely you can change this based on whatever you like, and you can change the images, change the actual destinations, completely up to you. Again, you have a place for to highlight or I say call to action to for people to subscribe to your email list. Again, it's a beautiful design template. And just look at the small details right here. The uh, uh, paper plane flying just looks beautiful on the page. And this this small details is what makes the template a little bit special. It wouldn't be um, this beautiful without this uh, small uh, details. So talking about the next section, which is again, very important for a travel influencer is your current location and your itinerary. Because let's say a brand or a maybe a travel company or maybe a government sometimes governments also work with you uh, or maybe a travel or say a tourism section of a government wants to work with you if they don't know where you are or if you don't know or if they don't know whether you're going to visit the country in the next couple of years then how are they supposed to get in touch with you and plan their campaigns so this is a great section to highlight that uh, where you are right now it's a beautiful map again once again so you can place your current location where you are right now and also what next locations you're going to visit so this is a great information for your audience to also like live your journey with you and your brands to also get in touch with you and plan their campaigns with uh, you if they want to. And again, you have place to highlight your Instagram feed, beautiful looking images right here. You can just replace them with your own images and you're good to go. And you have a footer, beautiful looking footer once again. And all the pages that I saw or I demonstrated in the header are also here, but we'll just go through them from the header itself and social media icons right here. So quick demonstration on the homepage. It looks beautiful and all the most important content is on the home page, which is the most important part. So coming to the about me section, again, no points for guessing what is on the about me page. Uh, it is all about you. So the header and the template looks great and nice little touch here with the map here. And uh, again, the handwritten font gives it a very nice and interesting appeal. And then now everything that you want to highlight about you is uh, present here or the sections have been designed in a way that you can highlight everything that is about you. So you can talk about what you want here or who you are, or how you got in the travel business or maybe how you became a traveler, maybe full-time, part-time, how you travel, when you travel, everything you can highlight here. And then you have beautiful images right here, which you can highlight your travels with. And then you can also have uh, videos embedded here because people you want people to follow you everywhere, maybe on Instagram, maybe also on uh, YouTube. So you have a section to highlight that right here as well. And of course, you have a section where uh, brands can get in touch with you. You can again, uh, just place your email address here with a click of button, they can get in touch with you. You also show off the brands you work with. So this page has been designed, I'd say, to share your story and as well as brands to know what you work with, what you do, and also to get in touch with you. So let's go to destination page. Now destination has a four different options already set up. So let's go to the Asia page and I'll show you what's so great about it. So this is typical, I'd say, like a blog feed and you can definitely uh, all the kind of different destinations you visit you can create different pages around it and have only the content about that country that location specific or maybe that content placed in that so right now since this page is about asia so all the content uh, in this template which is created for demonstration about asia will be visible on this page so you can have this is a complete blog post now so you can definitely see right here uh, all the different kinds of content you've created about uh, the places you visited inside asia there's some something about india this looks like a holy festival and this is mount fuji japan and this is dead sea in israel and beautiful looking template i'd say very simple and very symmetrical layout so people can just come to the page and click through one of the most, uh, I'd say, travel locations that they are most excited about. So beautiful way to just highlight all the content you've done. And uh, again, an Instagram uh, feed right here, which uh, can 
I'd say encourage people to follow you on Instagram. Definitely a simple looking page, but I say a very effective and beautiful looking page because that's the point, right? You want to get uh, or you you want your audience to come and consume your content, not just navigate and check out how beautiful your website is. Even though uh, I would definitely recommend that they, or I would definitely prefer that they check out how beautiful the website is, but effective websites are more important. So going to the video section, again, no point so guessing what will be in the video section. It is a page dedicatedly or completely designed just for having videos. And again, a nice little touch. The page looks similar to, I'd say, what the blog template looks like, but a little different. You can see the uh, spacing between the images is different. The way the headings are defined is very different. The typography is also a little bit different and it just gives a different appeal to the page itself. And you have beautiful looking pastel colors and you have a white section right here. So, and again, a pastel color. So it's just a beautiful flowing uh, theme of color on the page. So you have place to highlight all your videos. Then you have subscribe button right here. Of course, you, you want people to subscribe to you on your YouTube channel or maybe another any other video platform that you use and an Instagram feed right here. Again, header or say the footer and the social icons stay consistent throughout the page or throughout the website. Also, let's check out the work with me section because again, as, a, as an influencer or travel influencer, this is your bread and butter. This is where you make your money. So work with me is obviously designed for brands to work with you or for brands to be uh, connected with you and also get in touch with you. So again, you have a high handwritten font right here. You have this pastel sections, dividing these sections. And I can have beautifully designed contact form with a simple name, email, and message field, and a submit button. And also a nice little quote here, what you can do. Maybe, maybe it's a philosophy of travel. You can write it here because some people uh, are also very niche about traveling. Maybe some people are uh, frugal travelers. Some people are luxurious travelers. Some people are... Um, uh, I'd say backpackers. So what kind of travel you do, maybe you can highlight that here. And then also you can have a section highlighting the brands you work with because that's this is social proof for the brands that want to get in touch with you. So this is all about the uh, travel influencer template. Again, a beautiful looking template. Let's quickly go to the fashion influence template because we have three more templates to cover. And uh, I don't want this video to become too long. So the fashion influencer template, again, a beautiful striking design, I'd say. A very different layout from all the or seg two of the templates that I just showed you. So I'd say it has a very subtle color right here. And uh, what makes this template very special for me, at least, is the typography. What a beautiful looking font, a serif font right here. And the contrast between the fonts. As you can see, the big headings, I have a serif font. This has a more a block style uh, sans serif font. The header and the call to action right here, the logo right here. Everything just fits into place. It just looks beautiful. So again, the, uh, the influencer page or the entire template uh, has been designed with uh, effectiveness in mind. So you have the home page right here. You have the logo. You have all the pages or most important pages of your website. You have a call to action for brands to get in touch with you. And again, you have, again, a beautiful looking image where you can replace this with your own image and talk about who you are. And this is, I would say, the most beautiful looking part of this uh, call to action, or I'd say the above to fold content is the typography. So you can definitely replace this with any kind of content, but I would say your name would be the best suited here. And you can write here a fashion and lifestyle blog, but you can also write fashion and lifestyle influence if you are more of an influencer rather than a blogger, that's completely up to you. Coming here, you have the option to highlight your social media followings, which is, again, very important. And again, you have the option to highlight the brands that you work with. Again, this is very important. So you can, uh, say, influence your audience and also influence the brands that you want to work with or brands that come on the page or your website and want to work with you. And again, now this, because this is an influencer template or influ I say this is a fashion influencer template, This the all the section here, have been designed with a different kind of fashion, I'd say, categories in mind. So you have three different sections right here in this uh, section. You have the clothing section, you have the uh, accessory section, and cosmetic section. For example, some brands or some influencers might work with all three, um, I'd say, fashion accessories. Maybe you do clothing, maybe you do accessories, and you do makeup. But some, I'd say, influencers specially or specialize in... Uh, uh, makeup or uh, any kind of cosmetics. So this is the section where you can highlight what is your specialty. Because if supposedly, let's say you are more of a makeup influencer, then you can replace this with makeup, change the image right here, change the logos. And now the first priority that any brand or influencer will see is a makeup category or makeup section right here. So this is completely up to you. All the content that is placed here is completely changeable and replaceable by you. And you have interestingly three different sections for highlighting the brands because not all brands uh, create makeup as well as accessories as well as clothing, right? You have brands specific to clothing, you have brands specific to accessories, and you have brands specific to cosmetics. So you have three different sections to highlight 
specific brands that you worked with for each of these categories. Again, a beautiful looking layout and beautiful looking, I'd say, uh, section to highlight all the work you've done already as an influencer. And then you have an option to highlight the recent blog post you have written on your website. Maybe you talk about your experiences as an influencer. Maybe you talk about all the behind the scenes that happens uh, when you uh, actually do some modeling. Or also you might also talk about fashion tips if you're a fashion influencer. Maybe you're a makeup influencer and you want to talk about what are the best ways to make up? What, what are the best eyeshadows? What, how do you apply your makeup? How do you do your hair? So anything you want to highlight or talk about can be embedded here because this is just a blog feed but a beautiful design blog feed look at how different this blog feed is from the rest of the templates the image size is what makes all the difference the image size here is just beautiful more of a squarish layout i'd say and it just catches your eye it's just impossible to look away when you look at uh, this kind of a blog feed so again the job is done from the template itself because if you have this kind of a blog feed uh Every, any any people or any, any person visiting this blog post will or blog or sorry or your website will not be able to just navigate away without clicking and checking out more about you which is the actual goal of your website so again beautiful looking section right here and then you have fashion tips so if you want to separate your fashion tips from uh, maybe your behind the scenes maybe some other work you want to do as written content you have a section dedicated to that as well and then one more uh, place to just uh, grow your email list and beautiful looking section again here with a nice little border and just small touches that make the template so special. And again, videos, I've been talking about it, videos are taking over the world. So this is a place where you can highlight your videos, what kind of videos you've done. Your beautiful looking call to action button right here. And then a beautiful again, uh, different kind of design uh, compared to the other two templates we just looked at. You have a beautiful looking, I'd say a nice big image and then you also have smaller images coming. So interesting looking design, but again, job is done you want to highlight all the kind of video content you're producing and again you have a place where you can ask people to subscribe or i say follow you on instagram and again beautiful looking images right here which you can replace with your own images and then most importantly call to action for brands to get in touch with you so this is all about the home page and as i mentioned the job is done when you talk about or when you show off the templates like this coming to the next few pages let's quickly run down this templates let's look at the shoots page which is all about a kind of photo shoots you've gotten done so again beautiful looking page right here and look at the difference or stark difference in the template style uh, this is completely i'd say customized design because fashion influencers have a very different style of very different look and this is completely designed in according to that manner beautiful looking images right here you can just replace this with uh, your own images maybe add some text here and then you can take people behind the scenes or what kind of shoots you're doing and if you scroll down the page again is a beautiful design a duo tone design uh, the pastel color right here and a white background right here with my masonry grid of images right here and just a beautiful looking page and again a call to action for brands to get in touch with you so let's get to the lookbook section which is all about different kind of lookbooks if you teach people fashion if you talk about what kind of fashion or what kind of clothing people should wear this is a great place to highlight that or maybe you just uh, get in touch with a brand who sends you some clothing and you want to pair them up and show off your lookbooks so let's say for example you want to highlight how you can wear rugged jeans with a denim jacket with white sneakers and a t-shirt great place to highlight just that just add an image talk about it and people will be able to just go to your blog post and read all about it and you can have different combinations or diff many kind of lookbooks that you want to create on the same page and again a unique looking design three images you see the beautiful looking image right here then three rectangular images and then again a beautiful looking wide image and again uh, we switch to rectangular images so the template just keeps it's it doesn't feel boring it just feels dynamic and as you keep scrolling uh, the interest of the user at least my interest uh, has been maintained throughout the template because the designs keep changing and it just keeps appealing to my eye again call to action for brands to get in touch with you simple page i'd say not a simple page actually a very beautiful and interesting page in my opinion again you have about me you have fashion tips and contact let's quickly run down because the video is already a little too long than i would like so about me section, of course, it is about you, what you want to do, who you are, how how, how did you get into the, um, I'd say, influencer business. Again, a beautiful looking image. Just look at the how beautifully designed this page is. It's a nice big image right here, which you can place with your own image and talk about how you got an influencing business. Again, kind of a masonry grid, not exactly a masonry grid, but different kind of layout for showing off your images, uh, who you are, how you got in the business, brands you worked with and follow you on Instagram and a call to action for brands to get in touch with you let's also look at fashion tips again this page would be very similar to 
a couple of other pages we've looked at but this page is dedicated for fashion tips if you are also educate people on how to maybe improve their own fashion sense fashion style this is a place for you so this is a blog feed and again just look at how uh, contrasting this template is from the other templates we've looked at so nice little uh, rectangular image right here little bit i'd say squarish uh, not completely squarish but a little bit rectangular design and again a beautiful typography choices right here which just makes or it's like it gives a next uh, interesting layer of appeal to the entire template the typography just that's what catches my eye on the first look and if you look at all the pages or uh, just scroll down and uh, the feed is just beautiful looking and once the feed is ended this this is completely up to you how what kind of content you want to show off then you have a call to action for brands to get in touch with you so this is the template and let's also quickly look at the contact page and then we'll go to the homestay and the tarot card reader template so again coming to the contact page uh, the job of contact page is for people or, or brands to get in touch with you and it just this, this page just uh, does the job really well beautiful looking typography once again showing off your social media following on three different social media platforms completely customized up to you stay in touch uh, write something about you you have the agency contact because of course you might be also working with an agency if you're a model you have contacts for manager uh, and also in email address where people or brands can get in touch with you then you have a nice little beautiful design form here with nice subtle touches to the borders which just gives it a light fashion appeal to uh, i'd say the form and have first name last name some basic fields and beautiful again call to action right here simple click of button and people and brands can get in touch with you and again one more call to action right here because it just makes or uh, just unifies the design completely so this is all about the fashion template let's also look at the next template which is the hotel or say the home stay template so this is the homestay template. Let me just give you a quick demonstration of how the template is designed. And homestay template or homestay meaning a, a homely hotel or a repurposed property that is converted to hotel. So it's, it's designed for a small hotel and the idea behind it as uh, the small hotel or a homestay hotel is that it gives a more homely appeal to a hotel, not a completely corporate appeal. But you can definitely customize this according to your needs if you want to maybe repurpose this design to suit an Airbnb or maybe a small hotel or even a luxurious hotel, it's completely up to you. As I've already mentioned a few times, you can customize the complete template, the images, the header and footer completely with Beaver Builder and Astra's header and footer builder. So let's talk about the design, what's unique about it. Again, the typography is quite interesting here. It's a serif font used here and uh, interesting design I would say choice here the center logo definitely looks much uh, like I'd say uh, it's an interesting touch here with um, the white space around here so that it's clearly visible what the logo is and what the branding is and you have the pages section right here and you have a phone number because for a hotel what's the most important thing that people actually call you and book their stairs at the hotel and also uh, the second important most important thing I would say with the hotel is what's the surrounding like what's the experience like to stay in the hotel and that is what the rest of the website or the rest of the template is about so if you come here there's a nice interesting i'd say a gradient design uh, fading in from the image to shirley's homestay which is the uh, name of the demonstration but you can replace this with your own uh, i'd say name of the hotel if you want to uh, definitely that's uh, one thing you can do and you here you will have a description or a section where you can highlight what is different about this uh, specific area or specific hotel that you're running so again you want to highlight the best section or what, what is the unique experience that you're offering at your hotel right here and then you have an address section which is obviously the most important part otherwise how will people find your hotel so coming to this section now you have what is your hotel about or what experiences do you offer at your hotel this is the section right here again a beautiful transition from the green color right here to this section where you can talk about what kind of rooms you have what kind of facilities you have as you can see we already have included some icons so that you can include the facilities or what kind of facilities you offer at the hotel right here on the home page because that's one of the peop uh, considerations people have or one of the people think things that people consider when they're looking for a hotel so you can uh, mention if you have high wi-fi how many charging points you have work tables air conditioning maybe a pool maybe a massage maybe a spa whatever facilities you offer you have the option of highlighting it here and again you have detailed options to talk about the facilities that you offer what kind of restaurants you have maybe you have a specialty chef that cooks a special special kind of meal maybe you also have vegan facilities you can highlight them here you have a swimming pool whatever kind of facilities you have you have a beautiful section right here which you can showcase them and also you have links to uh, uh, I'd say uh, you have links here which you can uh, link to blog posts on your site or even I'd say pages on your site where you talk about those facilities in a lot more detail. For example, you might be running a hotel and you might offer 
a lot of different kind of cuisines and you might also cater to a lot of i'd say allergic uh, uh, food allergies for example you might be taking care of people who have nut allergies you might be considering people who have other kinds of allergies maybe gluten allergy so you can highlight every kind of speciality restaurant or i say so you can highlight all kinds of food uh, speciality that you have maybe you have different kinds of spas uh, so you can highlight that so this is a complete section that you can dedicate just to highlight all the different kinds of facilities you have and coming to this section again a beautiful looking i'd say uh, a hero image here with the testimonial on top and for uh, for hotels testimonial is one of those things that is uh, i'd say very important because a lot of people will want to find out if other people have had a great experience staying at your property so you can embed a beautiful looking review or i say the best reviews that you have right here on this page and it's a beautiful way to just get more bookings and you have the button to uh, link to other reviews as well coming down here you have a beautiful looking gallery of images where you can replace these images with images of your own hotel and highlight all the beautiful properties and all the i'd say interesting areas of your hotel maybe you want to show off the lobby maybe you want to show off the bed room maybe the bathroom or any other facilities you want to offer right here you can show this off again you have a section here for the booking which is the most important area because that's the point of a hotel website right we want people to book rooms to a hotel so you have the make reservation button right here and the phone number was already on top if people ever want to make inquiries they can actually call you and we have an embedded google map right here now this is one of the most interesting or interesting i'd say one of the more the simplest features but which is often overlooked you want people to have a map listing on your page directly so they can check it out and interact with it and since this is a google map you can actually interact with it you can move it around you can zoom in and zoom out and to use this on your website all you have to do is just go into the back end of the site and just change your address or mention your address and the map will point exactly to your uh, hotel's location so it's a great way to just highlight uh, where you are and maybe people want to check out what the ne neighboring areas are uh, close to your hotel and they can do this research on their own without you having to do anything so that's a great way to just highlight what is the best part about your hotel's location and again you have a section uh, i'd say beautiful grayscale uh, um image right here which you can highlight what is again your hotel's i say main usp or what's the best part about your hotel a beautiful logo right here address and again a phone number so the home page does it all it uh, provides a way for people to check out your hotel's location the facilities the kind of food you offer other facilities you offer what kind of rooms you have they or you also offer a place to get in touch with you if they have any questions so home page does it all but you have definitely have, have other pages as well so let's go to the rooms page and let's quickly check out what is special about the rooms page now the rooms page obviously is a place where you can highlight different kinds of rooms you have sometimes you might have a single type of room but most hotels or even small hotels have different kind of uh, rooms sometimes you might have suites you have might have smaller rooms so you have this section to highlight uh, all the different kinds of rooms you have so you have a beautiful section right here or i say beautiful image highlighting that this is a rooms page and also what facilities you offer consistently throughout all the pages or i say or throughout all the rooms you can highlight them here so maybe you have free wifi charging ports work tables and air conditioner in all your rooms this is a great place to highlight that or uh, highlight this and you can notice the icons are in uh, completely uh, the colors of the icons are in alignment with the home page transition that you saw in the initial image so it's just a great touch and gives a more professional appeal to the design and coming here you have pages where you can define or i say you can create multiple pages for or each page dedicated to a single type of hotel room that you have so you have the autumn drive in this demonstration you have the walnut uh, walnut tree side in this uh, demonstration and you also have the modern gardeners in this demonstration so no matter how many pages or how many types of rooms you have you can uh, fulfill or you can highlight all of those by just creating a different kind of page here and of course you have a beautiful looking rectangular image where you can i say just add the best looking image of the room so that people are actually impressed by it and of course they want to stay at, stay at a hotel or increase the desire or probability that they want to stay at that hotel or your hotel and coming down here you again have a testimonial section which is very important for hotels and again the map which is more important so this is all about the room space let's also quickly check out the facilities page and the facilities page is obviously about facilities that you offer at your hotel and it's not about the facilities that you provide inside your room but also maybe outside your room maybe you have a pool maybe you have a spa maybe you have some other facilities maybe you have special arrangements you can make for a special kind of guests everything that you want to have for example in this demonstration we've included central heating garden terrace parking space which is also very important if people are driving in maybe with their rvs so this is all important information and again you have a beautiful gallery of images that you can show off uh, these specific facilities for example if you have a roof garden if you have a garden terrace you can just uh, add a picture here if you have a large parking area just add it here if you have an open garden next to maybe a sea a lake a waterfall you can add all the images here and just 
obviously increases the probability that people will come and uh, uh, likely or increase the likelihood that people will uh, um, uh, say inquire about your hotel and definitely uh, stay at your hotel. And again, you have a section for rooms again, which already was I covered in the room section. So let's skip that part. And again, you, you can click this button right here, go to the rooms page, and then you have the map once again. Going to the top section, let's also check out the about section. Now, one interesting thing about um, small homestay hotels is they also have a kind of interesting history. Maybe uh, your hotel, if you're a small hotel, has a great history. And even if this doesn't have a history, you want to talk about the hotel, how it got started, maybe who's the founder, what is their vision about the hotel, what is the kind of experience they want to show at the hotel. And this is a page there where you can highlight everything about the hotel. So you maybe want to talk about what is the uh, theme of the hotel. Maybe you have a contemporary design, maybe you have a modern design, maybe you have a specific color theme to the entire hotel for a particular reason everything you want to highlight is in this section and as in this section, we also included a section to just talk about who's the founder of the hotel or who is the owner of the hotel because homestay hotels tend to be more personal you can have a personal touch you have a limited number of rooms and if you are the owner you can definitely get in touch with or have a one-to-one -one interaction with your guests so this is a great place to highlight the uh hotels uh, owners if you are the owner and definitely it's a great place to also highlight again a beautiful gallery of images using this you can highlight all the facilities you have the hotel and again a map highlighting where this hotel is on the map so again beautiful section or, or beautiful set of pages and coming to the contact page or uh, so no guesses here what the contact page is used for it is uh, designed to uh, for users to get in touch with you and again keeping with touch with the de great design you have a dark image right here or i say a filter on top which uh, makes the image dark with a contact nice uh, little um, simple heading right here and then you have a beautifully designed uh, form and with it uh, all the information right here so you have the reception office you can have the address here which is obviously important what time is the reception open again, Again, very important information if people want to call you and also the contact information for uh, your hotel so phone number and also the email address and you also have a contact form that users can get in touch with you directly by just filling this form anonymously if they want to so again beautiful template overall uh, all the different kind of areas or all the different uh, elements that a hotel needs or even a homestay hotel needs are covered in this template so that's all about this template let's quickly jump into the tarot card reader template because this video is already a little too long than what i've liked so coming to the tarot card reader template what does a tarot card need or what is the ideal image what comes to your mind when you think of a tarot card reader i would uh, say dark and moody backgrounds and a little mystery around the tarot card readers and uh, definitely dark theme uh, so this is what exactly the tarot card uh, template is designed around and as a tarot card reader maybe if you are a tarot card reader what kind of goals would you have with your website so you want uh, maybe want to people to get in touch with you for consulting maybe you want to read uh, tarot cards for them or maybe you want to teach uh, how to read tarot cards and all three or all the goals that i just mentioned are covered in this template and also the design as i mentioned dark and moody and mysterious is is included in this template as you can see it's a completely dark moody and uh, i said the overall theme is very dark but it also looks beautiful because look at the beautiful typography here look at how the image interacts with the heading it just uh, uh, the heading hides behind the image and just gives an interesting 3d three-dimensional appeal to the image or the heading or and also the website so the first look of the template is pretty interesting so i if i just came to the template and i noticed this i would probably just stay and be engaged with the website for a few seconds so let's talk about the specifics of the design so of course you have a dark theme right here your logo on the left hand side again it's customizable uh, you have a beautiful looking typography heading right here in the middle and you have the appointment button right here so if you want people to book appointments for getting their tarot card reason i don't know if i'm using that term correctly but let's go with it if you're using or if you want people to book an appointment here is the button right here and then you have a section where you can talk about yourself because of course you are the hero in this website who you are the tarot card reader so beautiful looking uh, i think complete section right here and again a three-dimensional image which just i'd say very engaging for me personally and you can talk about what you uh, what you are or definitely you're a tarot card reader but what kind of job do you do or how much experience do you have what what kind of uh, clients maybe you've worked with a simple section here which you can highlight or where you can use this to highlight everything and again a call to action button right here so that people can book an appointment coming right here you can include or uh, this is a complete section again we're going with the same uh, dark and moody appeal with a white bright text right here now here what you can highlight you can use this section for almost anything you can talk about uh, for how long you've been doing this maybe how many clients you've had what kind of results you've gotten them maybe a testimonial section but right now in this demonstration we've included what i do so what do you do do you do 
tarot. This is what you included here. I don't know what these terms are, but I assume this is some kind of a similar branch or similar approach to tarot or some or a branch, uh, parallel branch to tarot. So let's go with it. Uh, cartomancy. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And geomancy. So I assume these are all related to tarot. So if you do uh, maybe some similar things or maybe something related to tarot, then you can have this section to highlight all that. Again, uh, call to actions are included on almost every section. So again, you have consult now button right here, which is very important if you want to book more clients or uh, have more clients uh, come to you for consulting. And again, you have an interesting way to highlight content on your website. Maybe uh, people don't believe in tarot reading. So you want to educate them that, okay, this actually works. And what is the science behind it? Or if it's not a science, then what is the reasoning behind how this process works? So you have great section right here, where, which you can... Uh, yeah, bring people in and make them or uh, I'd say convince them to maybe try it out once on your website which is actually the goal and again coming to this section again you have a look at the interaction of the image with this section again uh, the entire website has a more three-dimensional appeal with the use of these sections and the images and now you have a complete section beautifully designed to highlight everything about you so you have you can write your name here everything what you've done and also what are kind of certifications you have honestly I didn't know if there were certifications in Darrow but if there are I'm assuming pretty sure there are so you can highlight all the certifications you've done and you have a read more button right here which you can link to any of the blog posts or maybe you have a dedicated page where you would talk about your certifications coming to coaching class which is one of the again one of the aims I was talking about what uh, do people want to do maybe they want to get uh, tarot cards reading for them or read their cards read or maybe they want to learn how to read tarot cards themselves as a hobby or professionally and you can highlight or use this section to highlight that or that sort of content on your website so if you want to maybe teach the basics maybe you want to sh uh, show some advanced tactics or maybe you want to uh, tell people how to convince uh, and get more clients all that information you can include or start mentioning here and coming to again you are reached already reached the footer and you look at the, the beautiful design it's just in line with the logo and it gives again a three-dimensional appeal to the entire template beautiful typography here you have the footer which includes all the pages we've been talking about the consultation pages and the contact information so everything uh, you want to include on the home page is already present here let's quickly look at some of the other pages which we have you have the about me page which obviously is about you or details or has details about what who you are what you've done so again a beautiful looking template or i'd say image right here the image interacts with the paragraphs right here again three-dimensional looking image so you can talk about who you are your name work you've done how many years you've been doing this all that good stuff and kind of certification you've gotten and facts this is important because people want to know how much experience you have how many satisfied clients you have how many books you've published if you publish books maybe you do something else maybe you have corporate gigs something like that everything you want you can highlight here then are interesting i said beautiful looking typography with an interesting choice of color i say this just gives a more um, a finesse to the overall design if you have maybe a promise you want to make maybe you have a philosophy regarding tarot maybe you want to have a money back guarantee anything you want uh, or to give users a great or uh, say a large amount of attention to you can highlight with this section right here with a nice little signature here Again, if you want to include more quotes here, you have the option to do so. Maybe this, this can also be used as a testimonial section if you want to, if people have gotten really good benefits out of your tarot card reading. Coming down here, you have manifesto. Now, this can be, again, I don't know the background of tarot card reading, but I am assuming that you have some assumptions in mind or you want to uh, tell some assumptions to people that, because again, a lot of people might be apprehensive about a tarot card reading. So you, you can use this section to educate people about how tarot actually works and then convince people to actually book a session with you and that is where you can convince them to do so so again you have a beautiful looking uh, icons right here and you can talk about the facilities you offer or what kind of guarantees you offer so you're a professional so you have, of course you're a professional if you have a website and uh, you want to offer a satisfaction guarantee and you're also private and secure because anonymity is also i am assuming very important if you are getting a tarot card written you don't want your personal information to be shared with others so this is these are important things to highlight again coming to the footer we have the same footer that we saw on the home page let's quickly go to the next section which is consulting and consulting i think i think is the meat of the page because if you're making most of your uh, money through consulting gigs this is where you want to pay most attention to again 3d looking design and you want to highlight all the different kind of consults you do again tarot is here i as i said i don't know what these mean but i'm assuming these are sub branches or related to tarot so if you have more you can highlight more of these sections right here then you can talk more about them in a little more detail so you have tarot and then you have a section describing tarot or maybe 
what people need to know before they can book an appointment maybe there's a situation thing maybe uh, you are you are not um, available for some time then you have the option of booking or tar tarot reading so whatever information you want to include uh, i'm not an expert in tarot probably you are so you want to highlight the or write the most important information here then click or i'd say add this button or buttons already added but uh, just uh, link this button to the uh, booking form page and again tarot card reading i already mentioned you also want to add some in, uh, information about uh, beginners who just uh, discovered you through maybe an online search maybe through a social media following and they want to learn more about how what tarot means you have a beautiful place or beautiful i'd say section design just for that so use this on your website if you're using this template on your website and again coming to more sections as i mentioned these are i assuming uh sub branches or related branches to uh tarot so you have uh i say two more sections if you you can definitely add more if there are more branches that you work with and highlight some basic details about what these branches do and how these are different from tarot and if you are an expert in them as well so this is all about the consulting page let's also talk about the coaching page which is another source of revenue or i assume which can be another source of revenue if you are into tarot and you also teach how to uh, read tarot cards to others so coming to this page, this page is radically different from all the other pages. This is more of, I'd say, a image background on this and a transparent header, which looks uh, very interesting and a fresh new appeal to the uh, template. And you have classes and coaches, a beautiful heading right here. And you have an uh, image uh, uh, I'd say section right here where you can uh, add an image where you're teaching tarot reading to your students because that's what the page is about. Then you have... Uh, some details about the class so maybe you have multiple classes you can duplicate this section inside beaver builder and add one more section right here and you can talk about what kind of classes you offer maybe there's a beginner's class maybe there's an advanced class maybe there's a client uh, or a client coaching class where you can uh, teach people how to get more clients so you can add all the classes here and then you have a call to action for people to book their seats and again you want to highlight what you uh, guarantee maybe you are professional definitely you offer a satisfaction guarantee maybe you offer uh, coaching for the first few clients that you help your students get all this information can be highlighted here then what kind of classes do you offer as i'm as i was just talking about you maybe you have an advanced class maybe you have a beginner's class maybe you have some other kinds of classes and your the other uh, two different branches maybe you also teach that so you have the possibility or the option of highlighting all these sections right here and again a beautiful looking section where you can highlight books if you've written them maybe you have an ebook maybe this is this can be used as a lead magnet and also collect email leads for your uh, uh, grow your email list for your uh, i'd say your students and a similar section can so also be used to uh, uh, say increase your email list for your clients and coming uh, you also have events now for tarot uh, one of the ways i assume you can grow your following is conduct events so you can go to place definitely in the post covid or pre covid times this was a thing you can actually meet people in the real world who knew that was possible and you can go and uh, conduct events where you maybe do a session maybe you teach the basics so you can highlight all the events you're planning in uh, your locality or maybe some other state if you travel a lot and all this information can be included right here on this page so again a beautiful looking page with a lot of different elements i would say you had classes you had section to highlight what kind of work you do different kind of classes books events so beautiful looking page and also very effective page in my opinion coming to the contact page no points for guessing once again what is on the contact page it's a place where people can get in touch with you so again you want to uh, people to get in touch with you and again look at the transparent header how beautifully it just goes with this image it just blends in with the complete i'd say template and uh, just again uh, doubling down on the uh, mysterious appeal with the image right here but again not compromising on the professionalism and the beauty of the template so temp typography looks really good and you have your address here your phone number here and your email address here and on this particular page you also have the google map listing where you can highlight exactly where your location is so you, all you have to do is in the back end just change this address and this will point to exactly your location and this is an interactive map if you didn't already know and you can also zoom in and zoom out if you press control on windows and then scroll in and scroll out on this map so your users can have the same experience uh, when they actually visit your website and again you have a contact form again beautifully designed the contrast and stark contrast and colors they can just fill in some of the basic information and get in touch with you and that's all the template or this is the complete template again we've covered a variety of different templates we've covered the food blogger template we covered the travel blogger template we covered the fashion influencer template this was the food blogger template this was the travel blogger template this was the fashion influencer template you had the homestay template and also the mysterious and dark tarot card reader template which was what 
what which was or i say which template was your favorite let me know in the comments and if you decide to use any of these templates i'll leave links down in the description where you can go and check out these templates and use them with beaver builder on your wordpress website so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it make sure to like the video and if you enjoy this kind of content and uh, you are using or you intend to use beaver builder or any other wordpress product then we are the uh, channel to follow so make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon and also mention uh, select the all option and notifications so that we can send you notifications about all these kind of videos that we do on our channel you're watching and listening to Yuvraj on brainstorm forces youtube channel and i'll catch you in the next video take care and stay safe